Hello, my name is Jesse Serrano. I'm a junior student here at Missouri S&T, and I'm going to talk to you today about SecPro2, which is a program developed by Dr. Libra for section analysis. It's very helpful when going through the class mechanics of materials and going through anything in statics that you might not remember. And this Hello, my name is Jesse Serrano. I'm a junior student here at Missouri S&T, and I'm going to talk to you today about SecPro2, which is a program developed by Dr. Libra for section analysis. It's very helpful when going through the class mechanics of materials and going through anything in statics that you might not remember. In this video, we will be analyzing a W section three different ways. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and make the predefined section here. We're going to pick 16 by 40. Go ahead and add the section. As you can see right here, here are all the section properties. You might take note of them so that when we make the other section, you can compare the results. Even though that they're the same section, they might look slightly different, and we'll explain why in a little bit. Also note that this is on the origin. So the centroid and the origin are on the same place. That's why the X bar and Y bar are both zero. So let's go ahead and make the other section. I'm going to go ahead and clear this. go ahead and get started making the other section. Now this one I'm going to make using three rectangles. So I'm going to grab my tool here. I'm going to make the bottom portion first. So I'm going to start at the bottom middle, which is point 0.3. My x and y coordinates are both going to be 0. My base is going to be 7 with a height of 0.505. Add the section. I'm going to make the center section next. I'm also going to choose the bottom middle, so 3. But this time, I'm going to change the y to 0 0.505 so that it clears the top of the first section. The base is going to be 0 0.305. And the height is going to be 14.99. All right, now let's make this final top section. This one we're going to do at point 0.7. So this is the top middle here. We're going to change our y to 16, which is the total height of this section. We're going to make the base width 7 and the height 0.505. Add that section now. And now we have the completed section for this. Here again are the section properties. Um, note the y bar here is at 8 now because the origin is down here and the centroid is located here now. Okay, now let's make the last one. I'm going to go ahead and clear this one. I'm going to go ahead and use clear and reset to remove everything. Okay. Now this last one we're going to make using three rectangles and this subtraction tool. So we'll start off making our base. We're going to select position 3. So we're going to go from the bottom middle. X and Y are both 0. Going to make our width 7 and the height 16. So now we have a large rectangle in the middle. Now we want to cut out the shapes on the sides here so that we can get our section. Grab the tangle tool once more, but this time we're going to select position 2. We're going to set x to negative 3.5 and y to 0.505. We're now going to make the base 3.3475 and the height 14.99. And we're going to select subtract section now. We're not adding a section. We're removing part of the existing section we just made. All right, so we see we've got half of it now. Let's do the other half. All right, and now we have a section with similar properties to the other two. 
Now this one is almost exactly like the second example. Even with the moment of inertia and centroid, things like that, they have the same area. And again, y bar is 8 because the centroid is here and the origin is located here. Now, the other section we used with the predefined section, you should take note that there are curves here along the edges. And this is taken into account when looking at the sections that are predetermined. So things like that might be slightly different when it comes to the area and then the moment of inertia. But they should be similar enough for you to work homework problems and things like that. Hope this example was helpful.